The Vitsan's IECO Human Settlement Project is an African clean development story that represents a deviation from the business-as-usual approach. There are many differences to this project when compared to those of other developers and to previous projects by Peer Africa. From the beginning, there were some pretty significant challenges with Vitsan. Number one, the biggest challenge with Vitsan was the fact that it was considered a no-go area by the municipality. The houses were so slow through the municipality. Things would happen so slow to build houses. We couldn't go forward with our program without first helping the community to form itself into structures that lend itself to their participation in the development of their, of their community. The condition of the shed was very poor for us. Firstly, when there's wind, because Cape Town is too much windy, you can't even sleep at night. The, the roof sheets or the sail, what you are using, is moving like the sheets want to move out of you. Oftentimes people will say a, a greenfield project is a project that doesn't have any existing infrastructure. It was this greenfield status that presented the perfect opportunity to initiate a development that broke away from the business as usual approach. Well, I think when we look at the challenges around planning, um, as we say with the Vitsun project, it was about how you, what are we going to do differently than what we did in Kimberley and our other projects. In this case, Vidsan is about planning. There was a, a layout to, that was proposed for the Vidsan community. However, it wasn't ideal to project needs. We did boldly go ahead and uh, change the plan on our own. And the reason why we did it is because we were confident that a more consultative town planning process would ultimately be accepted. Uh, when we received the applications for, for Vitsant, we, we hadn't been involved in the process um, and the development of the plan, so we kind of got them cold and so we used uh, principle, you know, the standard urban design principles to apply to that. So at the time of receiving the plans, we weren't aware of, aware of the logic for, for the location of buildings and I think that's, that's where some of the challenges came in with the project. We had some slight objection from special planning from the city of Cape Town where they came and bought and said, oh, oh, wait, we cannot approve this project. Why all the houses are facing north? When they rejected the plan, I felt very sad because I knew that they are going to delay the building of our houses in Vetsand. Our department reviewed our decision after engagements with, um, with representatives from our eco and also housing. Um, a, a workshop was, was called together after our negative comments. Um, and, and really the process was fully explained to us. How the application had been developed, the engagement with the community, the buy-in from the community, the benefits to the community. The final approval of the plans led to the next phase, which was the initial rollout of infrastructure and houses based on the IECO methodology. The houses were built and the city was satisfied in how the IECO methodology was able to deliver the finished product. Should Vitsan had gone the business as usual route, we would have been looking at retrofitting ceilings and retrofitting uh, CFL, compact fluorescent and light bulbs. We would have been looking at retrofitting um, um, other interventions that uh, would have gone on buildings that were facing in the wrong directions. We would have been looking at buildings where the windows were in the wrong place. And we would have been looking at a community that has not been trained and educated more than anything on what it means to live in a sustainable uh, community. The further aspects of the IECO approach then have to do with the energy efficiency itself, what energy efficiency can be realized by passive means such as large windows which will allow the winter sun in, a overhang on the north side of the roof which will shade the windows and keep the uh, sun facing uh, windows and walls uh, shaded and cool during the summer are very low cost components that have a, a significant benefit on the quality of life and the comfort of the house. Oh, I first all blessed about my home. Because really, as I'm saying that, I'm staying in a, in an eco house. That house, like now, is hot outside. The house is cool now. When it's cold outside, my house is warm. So I feel so blessed about that house. I love it.